got stung by a bee, and it hurts really bad. Why did God make bees with stingers anyway? Like bees with stingers, there are a lot of things we don't understand, but we still trust that God knows what he's doing. It's a great day here at Keys for Kids. My name is Zach. Thanks for listening. After my last hiking trip, I found a tick stuck to my leg. (laughs) Gross. I pulled them off carefully, but I was still kind of grossed out. I mean, I don't understand why there are even ticks and mosquitoes and other insects that hurt. You know, David might have wondered the same thing when he fought a lion and a bear. But in Psalm 119, verse 68, he told God, You are good, and what you do is good. Our story today is called Clever Bees. Ow! Ian wailed as his mom rubbed a baking soda mixture on a bee sting. It still hurts. Why did God make bees anyway? I didn't hear you complaining when you were spreading honey on your toast this morning, said mom. But hang on, I'll get you some ice to hold on the sting. That will help it to stop hurting. Ian sighed. I guess bees are useful, he said when mom brought the ice. But I wish they didn't have stingers. Ian frowned. I don't see why God made some other things either, like volcanoes and earthquakes. Well, think of it this way, said Mom. Remember the farm we visited last year where the bees were building hives and making honey? Yeah, Ian said. It was fun to see all the cool things bees can do. They're really smart. Yes, they are, said Mom. But do you think bees could build a skyscraper? Ian grinned. Of course not. But neither could we, Mom. Mom laughed. (laughs) True, but there are engineers and builders and other people who know how to build them. Do you think if they explained how to build a skyscraper, bees could build one? Ian shook his head. They're just tiny little bugs, and we're humans. You know they can't understand the things we do or say. Mom nodded. And compared to God, we're just tiny little humans. So how can you expect us to understand everything he does? You mean we're just like tiny little bugs to God? Asked Ian, sounding rather shocked. No, we mean much more to him than that, Mom said. We're very important to God. He created us in his image and blessed us with many amazing abilities, but we're not equal to him. Many things he allows to happen won't make sense to us, but we can trust him because he's good and he knows what he's doing. Jesus came into our broken world to die for us so we could be saved. He promises to put an end to suffering and death one day. Even though we don't always understand God's ways, we can trust him because everything he does is good. Ian nodded. And even though they sometimes sting, bees do a lot of good things too. So, what about you? Do you ever wonder why God created certain things or allows some things to happen? The Bible says God created everything to be good, but when sin entered the world, it became broken. As a result, we experience pain and death in this world, and so did Jesus when he came to save us. We may not understand everything God does or allows, but we can trust him because he is good. Our key verse is Psalm 119, verse 68. You, God, are good, and what you do is good. And our key thought, trust God when you don't understand. Hey, did you notice the kid in today's story sounded a little different? That's because I spent a week with kids just like you at Maranatha Bible and Missionary Conference, and while I was there, I got to record them speaking the lines for the devotional stories. Pretty cool, huh? Well, maybe one day I'll be able to record you too. Until then, I'm Zach. Thanks for spending time with me here on Keys for Kids. I'll see you right back here tomorrow.